do you want to make some extra money from the comfort of your own home or do you want an actual decent income that you can turn into a full-time job literally just from working at home with an internet connection and some sort of device either a phone a laptop or any computer or a tablet whatever you prefer and how would you like to actually earn money just by sitting at your tablet a couple hours of a day doing some work on it or any device you want sounds very good right well, we're going to get into five of the best side hustles that you can get into now that will always be here no matter what pandemic comes through or what lo like government lockdown strategy that comes through just something that you can do today number one virtual assistant now a lot of people think hmm what's a virtual assistant have i got to go around looking at what people are doing on a day-to-day -day life just scheduling everything that they need to do no literally all you got to do is whatever that person wants you for now you want to find the right person and the right fit and you don't want to be offering yourself out to so many people because otherwise the workload can get too time consuming now this is a really good strategy if you don't have a job already or if it's just something that you want to do on the side for a couple of hours a day every time you finish work now basically all you got to do with this is help out with people's admin work and literally going through the spreadsheets maybe doing some sort of finance work or whatever they want and prefer usually it's for people who need to like who are on the move all the time and they want to someone to schedule their appointments but they don't want to be in contact with them at all times a lot of people now because of the internet are freelance workers so they might actually just do just work from home i know a lot of multi-millionaires who literally just sit at home all day don't have an office and that's how they can they get productive and that's how they actually work some people prefer to be in an office and prefer to have people with them it's personal preference but there is people out there who don't have people to actually go about the day-to-day -day life and help them now if you work online at the moment then you realize that quite this is quite a hectic year for people who work online because everybody's coming online and there's a lot more opportunity for making more money online so you got to realize that what well, people might be finding it quite hectic at the moment just to get through the day-to-day -day schedule and they will need someone to be like right there here's your appointment this time here's your appointment at that time this is how you do just to help with the productivity uh, so yeah you just do different different appointments for people save time for certain businesses and you can actually do tasks on admin and spreadsheet work and they can also do bits of social media as well it all depends on what the person wants you to do and how you can do this just go on fiverr or people per hour or something like upwork let's you go on these sites literally just freelance sites and offer out virtual assistant services and look at the best way to be a virtual assistant by downloading like microsoft office 365 or using google's own documents and spreadsheets and everything like that so yeah that was number one number two is learning facebook ads and running them for small businesses now like we mentioned before so many people are going online this year because of the pandemic and everything else that's been going on throughout every life literally just lockdowns are happening left right and center the government are throwing out restrictions on you just literally that are out of businesses control uh, personally where i live in the northwest there's been a local lockdown and northwest of england that is and there's a local lockdown and pub owners who don't have table service and everything completely out of business after just being opening for a couple of months now that's not going to be they're not really going to be able to survive through this there's no way of selling stuff online like online drinks or anything or online food maybe you can do some sort of delivery service but that's the only source of income and you've lost a massive source of income there and to be honest i don't believe they'll be able to get to claim something back from the government like we have been in the past so that's a very very misfortunate thing and the fact that the matter is that people want to get more business from online so you could reach out to small businesses and offer to do facebook ads for them or you could actually offer to get leads for certain people i see a lot of people really succeeding with personal trainers and boxing gyms and everything like this when they're first starting out so you can actually target ad ads towards people for leads now get these leads in and then literally sell them leads onto the actual business um, and use the business's actual budget themselves the budget that they hand over and they, what they want to spend their marketing budget and then ask for a fee to manage people's facebook ads on top of that
now this is one thing that we've been doing because we learned facebook ads through another strategy that you'll be able to see if you watch to the end of this video so that's how we learned facebook ads personally um, and then we've been doing it for other clients as well so if you're interested in that and you want to learn facebook ads or anything like that then go through our channel we've got a, f a load of free little content there for you to go through on how to optimize your facebook ads for pay-per-click and not for pay-per-click for for actual leads because uh, facebook ad ads are pay-per-click um yeah you can learn the skills to actually help sell your own products as well so you could eventually in the future sell some of your own products like courses anything like that and speaking of courses <clears throat> this is number three <laughs> so this is more specifically for uni students or people who have passed the university now i know a lot of people who actually just pass uni and then they can't get a job in what they want to actually achieve and what they want to actually pursue in their life let me have a sip of water so yeah they, they usually they end up in mcdonald's i know it's hard but I mean, if you I if you I wouldn't be able to get a job. I'd go to McDonald's before you know. What I mean, anything like that. It's it's a decent job and it pays decent as well. So, but but the fact that the matter is, you still got a student debt there, and because of the lack of experience and everything like that, you literally won't be able to get a job as soon as you leave, depending on the experience that you get. And a lot of people just because they're so focused on passing this and passing university and going out of the university life, they just completely miss the side of it, getting experience for jobs and then it hinders them once they leave university. I know personally that business owners would rather get someone with a lot of experience than someone with qualifications in AYZ. Elon Musk even said it himself. He said it doesn't matter what actual college education you get. If you have some sort of massive degree in Harvard... And then there's someone who's not even a high school graduate but has more experience than you he's going to pick that person with more experience so and that's one of the owners of the biggest car company in the world right now so just take his word for it not mine <laughs> so yeah this is one of the ways that you can actually make a lot of money and i see quite a few people doing it nowadays but not enough people are doing this is if you have studied a certain subject you will have you would have to actually pass you your actual university's first year or second year or anything like that then you'll know how to pass those exams and you'll know the revision techniques that you used to help pass those exams now don't forget there's people in school in high school or in college sixth form if you're in the uk but if you're over in America or anywhere else, it's university. There are people younger than you who haven't passed those exams. So you can take it upon yourself to actually sell either revision packs. <coughs> excuse me. Actually sell revision packs or anything like that. Or sell an online course on how to pass these exams or how to actually get better results in your coursework or anything that you do in university. Just to help people with the university life because just the textbooks alone i mean i know myself in this digital age if i was going to university i had to look through a massive textbook that costs like 300 quid or what, however much you spend i have to look through all of that i'm not going to be able to learn it as much i need people to go all right this is what you do this is what to do this is what to do it's different people learn in different ways now me personally i would need someone to show me what to do either in person or online now you can either offer it out to people in person However, it's not really the best because of the fact that if you offer it out to people in person, pandemic might happen, this might happen, you never know. Whereas online, you can sell it as a course, make it all, brand it all up, brand it all up, just completely sell everything, everything that you need to know about passing this exam, for example. Everything you need to know, put it in a course. Now you can sell that course and you don't even need to go through what you need, <laughs> like how to do it over and over again to loads of different people you can just sell them that course and people can look at it online and what, as long as it's structured well and as long as it actually helps them with what they're doing then people will pay for it there's a market for everything and the e-learning business is getting even higher and higher and it maybe you're thinking how can i promote this how can i do this how can i do that one if you're a student you might be getting a student loan so use that student loan funds for either paying for facebook ads like we mentioned before and learn facebook ads as a skill or <clears throat> number two brings us to our fourth option now you like the way i transition there it's quite it's quite good isn't it <laughs> fourth option youtube create a youtube channel literally what you're watching right now obviously people are making a lot of money from it now this is why we're investing into youtube 
not just for the fact of ad revenue or anything like that because ad revenue is decent but it's just come on you're making for the amount of money that you're making on it it's not really worth the time it used to be really good but now it's nowadays it's not as good as how it used to be now people miss a trick with you with what's called youtube i've been doing um a course recently now to grow big on youtube by a massive youtube it's like burnt chip jmx all these other people think it's called x academy it's really actually it's actually really good you can find a link to it down below um and it's only 333 a month and it, it's quite good if you want to be able to actually model a course to sell for yourself or just to learn how to get better on youtube and grow your youtube channel as well uh, just the edit everything's in there that you need to know uh, but one of the things that i found that they're missing is how to actually sell people onto other aspects now they sort of briefly go over it like selling merch and everything like that but if you so let's say you're doing a topic and let's say you are a tutor or somebody in university or anything like that and you want to sell a certain course so you could be doing youtube videos teaching people about law um, and how to pass this exam and then you could upsell them onto a course that you've done personally and because people buy into you teaching them about law and everything like that and plus because of the fact that you're actually teaching them about law you're actually helping revise yourself to pass the exams so you could use that to actually sell them on to that course on how to pass that exam or i don't know how uni works so don't like <laughs> but you know what i mean you could tell them how to actually pass this exam and everything you need to know about the first year everything you need to know about the second year of law what you've already learned you can sell that in a package just package it up sell it on something like teachable thinkific um udemy all these other course build it course sites or you could actually make it on your own click funnels or anything like that uh, so yeah you could you could you know what i mean you could find something like that and just do do anything like that sell your own products that's one of the best people best things about youtube because we could sell we can sell our own products here or facebook ads uh e-commerce sites shopify sites which we're going to get into in a minute by the way so <laughs> or you could actually take on brand deals as well so you could take on different brand deals and everything like that you could get you get in contact with certain companies and be like look we're sponsoring posts um we're sponsoring we're looking for sponsors for our new video would you be willing to sponsor our next video and people sometimes are willing to do it raid shadow legends raid sh <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends, a mobile game. I'm not sure how good it is. I've, all, I've literally really in depth and really invested a lot of money into YouTube advertisements. I've heard up to 50 grand for some channels. <laughs> like, it's daft. And it's literally just a couple, like a minute review at the start of the game. Where it's like, oh yeah, play Red, Raid Shadow Legends. Oh yeah, yeah, they're good, it's dead good. YouTubers don't even play it. <laughs> I get 50 grand for it, just feature it in one video one video you know what i mean it, once you get to a certain level and you have that influence and audience it's, it's so easy to make money you just have to keep up the consistency and keep up with what you're actually doing and what you're actually working on so yeah you can sponsor posts sell your own products and everything like that or oh, and have ad revenue at the same time there's a load of ways to make money from youtube let's go on to selling your own products now selling your own products maybe you're thinking like i don't know how to sell my own products i don't know how to build a site i don't know how to do this oh i've got the fifth option for you in a new transition shopify now you could either do drop shipping whereas you, which is literally where you buy people's products from china storing it in a certain warehouse um or just sell them onto it from and it, you know what i mean <clears throat> i'll do drop shipping you basically get people on from a certain background drop shipping and shopify drop shipping is where you're literally just buying products from china and then send literally just scaling it up putting facebook ads to that site and sending it across to that user now you can store it in certain warehouses and everything like that just that are in the countries or that you're actually selling it in so you can buy it from china store it in a u.s warehouse and sell it just in the u.s with u.s based facebook ads and you can make money that way however if you have a youtube channel and you're trying to advertise your own products on there then if it's in the same niche as well so let's say for example university you could be selling like textbooks or anything like that and you can link them down to your own website and with shopify it's so easy to build a site like it's just 
I, I personally used to build, well, I still do from time to time, build WordPress websites, and they're quite easy to use. Shopify, on the other hand, though, oof, it's so easy and it's better than WordPress. I mean, it's better than WordPress because of the fact that it actually looks better and runs a lot better than most WordPress sites. It's just WordPress, you can optimize your sites more. I'm not going to bore you with all the technical stuff. However, Shopify sites, though, really, really, really worth it. And you don't have to just do drop shipping from it. You can actually sell your own products on there as well. Let's say you wanted to create your own products and ship them out manually, and you can still do that as well. Drop shipping just saves you the time, though, of just shipping out loads of products day in, day out, and it saves you that time to actually focus on your marketing and all of that aspect as well. So... I'd recommend though that you do it in the same niche category. So let's say we're doing we're doing online marketing. And if I try to sell you onto some sort of beauty product <laughs> from online marketing, then you'd be like, What are you I'm not buying that. But if it was a beauty based YouTube channel and you sold them onto that makeup tutorial or those makeup you're doing a, if you were doing a makeup tutorial and you're selling them onto makeup brands and everything like that, then you're gonna get a lot of revenue. So yeah, I'd really recommend Shopify and everything along that nature because it's one of, probably one of the best side hustles that you can do. I've seen very, very young kids make a massive living from Shopify. We personally do Shopify dropshipping as well and we've learned a lot from the actual process of dropshipping. We've been doing it for just over a year now um, and we've made quite a lot from it as well alongside all the actual agency stuff that we do. So it really helps and add personally recommend that one as well I'd, put, I'd recommend the youtube one the selling courses one and the shopify one if you link all them ones together then that's just an easy way to make money on youtube also the facebook ads as well i mean not just youtube just online facebook ads as well all of these tactics you can link them together and make a very good profit from yeah that was a whole video thank you all for watching if you like this video, please leave a like on the video as well and comment what videos you'd like to know, uh, what, what more you'd like to know about e-commerce or anything to do with online marketing and making money online. We'll help you with anything you need to know. <coughs> We're making videos three times a week. Just got to look out for them on our social platforms. You can find them in the links below, our Instagram, our Facebook and everything along those lines. So yeah, again, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more online money making content and I'll see you later.